Tips and Crafts back with you again. Can't Ter believe it. That's Terry Stacy. Hi, thank you. This is Joe Stasiak. I don't have. A, we call him BJ. I guess the uh, you know the Pacers don't love me as much as they love you. Oh. What do people talk about when they come to Indianapolis? What do they always talk, talk about when it comes to food and everything? Uh, they, food. They talk about St. Elmo's. Oh. St. Elmo is the signature place to go and eat here in town with the shrimp cocktail and everything. St. Elmo's is now has nice? their own bourbon. Wow. And wow. if you've been to St. Elmo's and had their uh, their St. Elmo cola. This is basically it in a bottle. It's already been done for you. So Tara, I want you to try this. Oh my goodness, that smells like that's going to put me right on the floor. <laughs> well, I mean, I'm gonna give you a little taste of it. 88 proof. So it's a little higher than the normal 80, wow. but you don't very taste smooth. it at all. Very, very, very smooth. Very, very smooth and easy to drink. I love it. So you can get this as a gift. This is a good gift idea. It's a great gift. If you can find it, I know okay. our friends at Payless Liquors have it. So uh, yeah, stop off and I pick up it. your St. Elmo Cola. Thank you. Happy holidays. I, I would like to do something fun crafting. Okay, what we're going to do today is we are going to craft with Indian corn. We are going to turn it into a vase. <laughs> oh, what do you think about a that? Vase. So what you're going to need is you're going to need some Indian corn. Good luck finding it. And you're going to need just some containers, some cans, if you will. What if we use an actual vase, an actual glass oh, vase? Show. And just. That is, you have come such a long way with crafting. You're going to need all of this corn, all of this candy or caramel corn, or er, uh, Indian, <laughs> Indian corn. I wonder if it's doing a big one or? To even say Indian corn anymore. Native American corn? I'm not even sure. I don't know in this day and age. I'm old. I don't know. <laughs> so you're gonna need just a couple of rubber bands, big rubber bands. And Joe, you're gonna put the rubber bands on to. Oh, I see what you're doing. Go to the bottom. Um, you're making it a lot easier. You're making it a lot easier than when I tried to do it myself. That's the Pollock in me. Okay, hold it up again. Again, I don't know if you can say that. Joe, put another one. I'm gonna need two you rubber need bands. More? One, two more rubber bands. Beautiful. And you're gonna, See, those are gonna a... keep it on there. They're gonna, gonna keep it. Again, this is such an easy craft. This... So now you have your big face. And what you'll want to do to make it just extra pretty is you're going to want to cover those particular. Oh, oh boy. Oh boy. Wait, That's the first it. thing that goes. You're going to want to cover, again, your um, rubber bands with a little twine. But you feed it. Over. You feed it. I'll do this. You turn it around and you're just Again, turn this is it a around. couple's craft. A couple's craft. And you're just gonna turn it and spin it, turn it and spin it, <laughs> That's turn it and spin it. You're gonna cut, you're gonna just tie it off. And really, you can, when you spend more time with this, you'll get it. You know, that it can be much prettier. You know what? You'll figure it out. You really will. The, okay, so this wasn't our best craft. But again, keep tuning in because we're gonna be crafting with human hair very soon. Mm. I'm sorry that this didn't turn out well. It, but it really did look good on Pinterest. <laughs>